Hello everyone, in this video we're going to be watching back the highlights of the GBRC GT3 Championship at Monza which happened last Sunday, it happens every Sunday starting at 8 o'clock GMT uh, you can watch it, many drivers on YouTube so we're going to try and get a view here off the race start. Leaders. Here we go, this is off the start here. Use the heli cam. Put the leaders down there in the front. These are this contact that looks pretty aggressive there from car number 43. Everyone else looks like the maybe a couple of bumps. Oh, we've got a spinner. The Audi. The Audi spinning so high. Oh my god, it's all kicked off at the back there. One car facing the wrong way. Everyone going in the same direction now. That looks pretty tasty. And then we've got a couple of cars. Yeah, everyone looks like they're going through the second chicane in order. A lot less dramatic than before. Another person off there at Carva Grande, a strange place to go off. And a couple of cars just leaving the pits after starting from the pit lane. Okay, now we're on lap two. We've got Barter looking for an overtake here. Around the Mercedes. Oh, the Mercedes making the overtake, sorry. McLaren defending. And down the inside into Parabolica goes GFY 2020. But they've run a little wide. That's going to allow the McLaren space to come back up the inside on the switchback. And they're now running alongside each other down the straight. This could get very nice into turn one. The Mercedes looks like it's just beginning to have the pace to keep that one safe. We've got another overtake here, it looks like. Uh, lap three. We've got Trey and Meridian. Oh, no, no. Oh, no. Oh, oh, oh he's ran wide. The Honda has ran wide. Allowed the BMW, the black and yellow liveried BMW to come through there. Capitalising on the mistake. Oh, is it going to come back into the second less mode? No, the BMW driver just holds out. What have we got here? We've got the Audi R8 trying up the inside of Trev. No, no trying up the inside of a... Oh, no, no, here it is, here. Yep. Yep, the yellow and purple livery car having to get out of the overtaking move and losing a space there. The Trev on the exit of the Ascari chicane. Is he going to try again down the inside the Parabolica? No, he's too far back. He's going to just tuck in there, I think. Do his best to tuck into the slipstream. Now we've got here, it looks like two BMWs going to be having a bit of a position. No one's really next to them on the track. Okay, the one goes wide over the curb. That's a big jump over the curb there. And that allows the black livery BMW to make their way past. Yeah, and they're through cleanly. There we go. Another great move. A lot of action going on so far in this race. Now we've got a look here. We've got Parma and the Ferrari defending against the Gogs and the 134 Audi coming down the main straight. The Audi man pulls out to the inside and gets the move done under braking. Great clean driving there from both of them. Is the Ferrari going to have a chance to get the better exit? Nope. And the Audi is away. The Audi is gone. We've got a three-way battle here. Three-way battle into turn one, it looks like. We've got a white McLaren. And a blue McLaren. And a yellow, a green Audi. And we've got the blue McLaren down the inside there. What's, how's that going to react? How's the Audi at the back going to able to capitalize on this I think they're going line their stern just the blue car making their way through now we've got here we've got Trev and Dennis and here we go again this is a later on in the lap this time the Audi is going to try and take the blue McLaren down the inside of the Parabolica yes hard on the brakes 
gets the job done and also makes sure they have a good exit. I think that McLaren knows that's not their battle today. They didn't fight too hard on that one. Now we've got Trevor again. This man is on fire just now. Now looking to put the moves on RGT and the Ferrari. Goes up the inside. Missed that one there, I'll make sure we catch it again. There we go, and the Ferrari goes defensive, but the move's already done before the braking zone into a scary. Through the scary chicane, they both go. The Ferrari gets a little bit out of shape and into the wall, it looks like, and that's going to allow the Audi and the two McLarens behind through. The BMW here, oh, two BMWs, Husky, Bloke and Colsey. Um, the black one runs wide, right, the black livery BMW goes wide and that in between the two Lesmos allowing the grey BMW man through. It's a great move there, all the way in lap 10 now of this race. There's been a lot of overtaking action now Mons as you'd expect the long straights. Now what have we got here, we've got, it looks like the green Audi again. And the BMW goes defensive. That allows the Mercedes and possibly the Audi through and down into a scary. The BMW's thinking about attacking, needs to be careful, there is also a car behind looking to get past. The Audi runs a little bit wide, doesn't have the best exit there. That looks like the Audi, oh it's gone a bit deep, the Audi's gone deep, the BMW is going to be pushing back. The BMW has the inside line, Pure GT has it into the Lesmo 1. Gogs in the Audi has to concede around the outside, but they're still fighting into Lesmo 2. And Gogs will have the better line on exit, yes. And they're now in a drag race down to the Ascari chicane. And the camera was cut away from there, we've been Lance Strolled. And we've got Trev. Again, this Mercedes battle, this Mercedes Audi battle has been happening for quite a few laps now. But the Mercedes has run wide there on the exit of Lesmo 2, allowing the Audi of Trev through, who is having a fantastic race, putting multiple moves on various drivers throughout and keeping it clean. It's a great drive so far. And now we've got the Ferrari driver of Parma chasing down RGT, also in the Ferrari, coming down the back straight into Parabolica. This is going to be a huge dive from deep, the last of the late breakers, and they make slight contact. The Ferrari is potentially going to lose two places, the red Ferrari, nope, holds it on. It's a great move by Parma, bold, down heavy on the brakes and makes it stick and takes on lap 15 ahead. Now we have Barta and this white McLaren and we've got BGTT in the BMW M4 but we cannot really see where they are just now. Maybe they're ahead and they've run a little wide potentially. What are we looking at here? Oh boy, with the McLaren driver. Uh, they come with, oh, I don't know, actually, I don't know what happened there. Let's get another one board shot, they were pretty cool. Yeah, we've got the top of Ferrari there. So. If you know, I apologise for my pronunciation, it's not fantastic. And I'm not going to attempt the Aston Martin either. I think they're running line of start. It says here we're overtake, but I don't see how this could potentially turn into an overtake. Chasing down again the purple Mercedes who's been involved in a lot of action today, but this looks like the move's about to happen. The BMW pulls alongside the Mercedes down the inside into Parabolica. 
Uh, are they going to make it stick? The Mercedes just needs to focus on the exit. Maybe the tyres are going. It is quite late into the race now. Lap 27. I think that one's a done deal. The BMW now pulling away. So thanks for watching, everyone.